I want to follow up on the fire hose incident that happened outside of the Haven of Rest. Um, this story continues to unfold, and there is an advocate by the name of San Joaquin Valley Transparency that uh, has put a lot of eyeballs on this story, and um, this was discussed at City Council in Akron, and I want to uh, respond to the San, uh, San Joaquin Valley Transparency video. So this is, so there goes a homeless guy, and there, uh, the, okay, so there the, the, the fireman tells him to go back, he goes back, okay, this is a, uh, and then he, then he sprays the guy with the fire hose, and, uh, now, let me just talk about this a little bit. So some of you are like, oh, poor baby. He got sprayed by a fire hose. Uh, this is assault. And this is not that guy's job to um, spray down people on a sidewalk. And absolutely, this man has the right to video on a public sidewalk. This is absolutely basic fundamental first amendment rights. And so now this video is going to go uh we're going to go to city council here next. Firefighter from the city of Cleveland and I just seen the video about the firefighter turning the hose <clears throat> excuse me on someone that's videotaping them calling it a crime scene. He committed the crime. The fireman says he committed the crime. He has no right in no situation to turn a hose on anyone. His job is to do whatever he's there to do, get back on that truck, get back to the station, and be ready for the next call. If Chief Tucker can just give us an overview. Okay, so now that's, uh, so that was a fireman from Cleveland. Now you're hearing Tara Samples. What is being done about the fire um, men who spray the um, activists with the hose? The activist is uh, uh, Ryan Ohio protests. Um, again, happened in Ward 5. Like many of us on council, we all saw the video, um, which is very disturbing um, to us all. And um, if uh, we did get the press release from um, uh, uh, Lieutenant Sergeant Lash, um, but if the chief could... Uh, touch on that and let us know where we are with that. Um, it's not something that I, you know, I've got reporters calling because it happened in the ward again um, and at Haven Arrest, but I, I would rather for the chief to be that focal point. These are his firemen and women. So if he could res res respond to that, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. So now this is the fire chief. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Uh, good evening. And I too have seen the video. Uh, and I have to tell you, I was truly appalled by what I saw uh, this individual. So I just really want to say to the people that are kind of downplaying this, oftentimes I, it, it seems a lot that um, I just see it over and over again, conservatives downplay First Amendment rights, liberals downplay Second Amendment rights, and then we just keep bickering at each other and ultimately destroying each other in the process. And so um, I, I just, you know, I just want people to realize we're all in this together. If you're QAnon, if you're the three percenters, the Boogaloo Boys, you're it, we're all fighting the same war. Whether whatever you think it is, it is what it truly is. Um, it's post-capitalist corporations pulling the strings, and then in this case, it's service providers that think they are above the law and uh, resent having any kind of oversight. And so I just would love it 
if instead of looking at this, just, you know, saying, oh, cry baby, you know, what's a little water, you realize it's the exact same fight that you are having as well. It's the same fight. The firefighter with the hose has been put on administrative leave. So uh, this is an- this is huge. The firefighter has been put on administrative leave. And why this is important is because it is sends a signal that they cannot do whatever they want. They cannot, like, police can't do whatever they want. Firemen can't do whatever they want. They have laws and we all abide by them. And again, this guy, uh, Ryan Ohio protest is doing absolutely nothing, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. If it was WKYC, you know, if it was a TV station, they wouldn't spray them down, but because it's just some guy with a camera, they feel like they have the right to do that. Internal investigation. And uh, I can tell you that that type of behavior is unacceptable and it, it will not be tolerated under any measure in the Akron Fire Department. So uh, I am embarrassed and I will uh, take care of this. So um, we're going to see uh, Ryan's going to be speaking next. Um, but, you know, these are the words they all say. I'm embarrassed. I'm outraged. Like, is how do we get I mean. Does anything happen besides firemen just getting angrier at people? Situation once we complete our investigation. Thank you so much, Chief Tucker, for that update. First, I want to quote. This is a Ryan, Ohio protest. By the way, a veteran. Mayor Horgan on March 22nd. These things are unacceptable. And I said today, everyone is a person. No matter where you come from, you bleed, you cry. He's quoting a press release the mayor put out. Uh, you laugh. You want to do better for your family. It's about treating people with a basic amount of respect. We as a society fail at protecting the most vulnerable. So in close. And ultimately, it's these words that just feel hollow. They just say words. I would like to say that um, just like the mayor and some council people who refuse to communicate directly with oppressed and vulnerable populations without PR campaigns and photo ops and show some compassion. The mayor, like literally, it seems like that's his only job is taking photo ops. I'm sorry. I'm not. I mean, I literally don't know what else he does. And his public servants, I don't know if the fire chief and fire department or the police will ever change. Yeah, that's the ultimate thing. Will these people change? What do we have to do to get systemic change? That these people realize that they are not above the law, that they can't just do whatever they want. I hope for immediate First Amendment training for all first responders in Akron. How many times will we hear empty words from the politicians and chiefs about how it does not reflect the city or the department? This systemic culture of complete disregard for humanity and empathy is a result of leadership. Since 1987, Akron has had two mayors. Listen to that. Since 1987, Akron has had two mayor mayors. Mayor Pasquale and Mayor Horgan. Vice President Fusco has been in office since 1987. Between President Somerville and Mr. Somerville, they have been in office since 1987. You talk about reimagining public safety in your PR campaigns as if it is a big way to pat yourself on the back. Why is it taking you 34 years to address the oppression that goes on within the community? And why? We, it is quite well known that Akron is a racist city. Um, you can just see it in all of our actions. I, after 34 years, have you brought the same faces to the table? I hope to hear um, more about your update on the houseless population councilwoman samples. Uh, uh, Rano, how protest is really into the, the houseless homeless movement. Um, I hope city of Akron first responders will understand First Amendment rights. Um, the devil strip article... Why are we included, um, mentioned it perfectly about not bringing new faces to the table. It's systemic, just like everything else. Thank you. Have a good day. So the quick update is that the fireman that holds down the videographer is on administrative leave. 
All right. So I just feel like Ryan just hits it perfectly. It's systemic and nothing changes. And this is America. Like nothing changes. And what do we have to do to create change? Because it is ultimately um, a cultural thing that the, the people in power resent the people. It's just the way it is. They resent having to um, be accountable. And more importantly, I just want to keep coming back to this idea that this isn't a um, red topic or a blue topic, a, a liberal topic, a conservative topic, a Republican topic, or a, a Democrat topic. This is a people topic. And so, like, I do everything in my power to support Second Amendment. Um, I am out of the uh, Second Amendment, uh, you know, gun rights thing. I don't think... I don't think we have a gun problem in America. I think we have a mental health problem in America. And uh, putting layers of laws is on guns is missing the whole point. So I will support your gun rights. And you want more guns? Shoot, man. You want cannons? You want, you want surface-to-air missiles? I'll stand up for whatever you want. But I want you, when I stand up, for freedom of speech to support me, okay? Because together we can make the change. Together we can fix things. And that's ultimately my message, is that it is not a red versus blue thing. It's a people versus the system thing, okay? That's what we're fighting here. So let's stick together, people, please.